Hi everyone, my name is Roslyn Streeter. Welcome to the Journey of Vision, where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God, you guys. All right, you guys, come on, let's chat. Okay, guys, so I am back again, where God says, trust me, I have a reason for your season. Mm, that's so good. All right, you guys, part two, here we go. Please watch part one before you jump into part two so you understand. Part two, different ways and plots built so you can't win. It's become difficult even when you have enough. So God said there has been different plots put in place, you guys, and built so you can't get ahead. Even when you have enough, they still still won't allow you to get ahead, right? There's so much in place to tear you down, to keep you in bondage, put there so you can only get to a certain point in your life. This life, I say. Okay, so before I read the next part, I saw a vision. So when God said, different ways and plots built so you can't win, it becomes difficult even when you have enough. There's so much in place to tear you down, to keep you in bondage. Put there, come on y'all, intentionally put there so you can only get to a certain point in your life. So I saw a vision, you guys, of a pile of documents and they were actually plans uh, created and to hinder your growth, right? So no matter what you do, here on this earth it was put there it was like rules and laws and guidelines y'all and policies it was put there so you can only get but so far because even right now you might be doing well right say you're doing well God's like no that's not even how far I wanted you to go and it's because of what has been put in place you can only get so far but listen to what he says. But I'm here to say, to warn you that your seasons will be like no other. My God, and I pray that you feel that, you guys. And I'll read that again. He said, but I'm here to say, to warn you that your seasons will be like no other. You're here for a reason. Mm. And then I saw depression, y'all, and I saw suicide. My God, I saw it. And God said, it's not that, my child. He said, it's a lie. He said, it's not that, my child, your portion. He said, that's not your portion. And then I could even see, y'all, evil spirits spreading lies into you. And it's becoming your thoughts. My gosh but it's actually not your thoughts or the lord's thoughts okay so that's what i saw um so again i saw depression and suicide and it was planted by the enemy and you started to become depressed okay and so the thoughts that were entering into you in the beginning you had the strength to move it back but my god now you feel like it's a part of you and you're looking at me right now tearing up to a point where you're like, that is me. I feel like I'm in a dark place. I feel like I have no reason to be here. And that's why God said, trust me, there is a reason for your season. Trust me, there is a reason why you're going through what you're going through. But also trust me that that is a lie. The depression is a lie. He said, that's not your portion. That's not what I gave you. Suicide, that's a lie. He said, that's not your portion. That's not what I gave you. My God, you guys. And if you're in that place, do not hesitate to get help. Reach out and get help. And you have been thinking about getting help. Like, should I have these thoughts? No, you should not. God said, they're not even your thoughts. He said, they're not my thoughts, right? Then he said, your portion is bigger and greater than the eyes can see. He said, you will see when it all comes together in place. I know where you are right now, my God, but just know, 
He said, I got you. Jesus. He said, I know where you are right now. Please get that in your spirit. I know where you are right now, but just know I got you. He said, I'm holding on to you as I speak. Remember, this is a right now word. This wasn't released last year, right? He said, mark this date, March 1st, 2024. Right now word, you guys. My God, God released this message in March 1st, 2024. He said, don't claim depression. What does that mean? Don't sit there and say, oh my gosh, I think I'm depressed. I feel like I'm depressed. I'm depressed. My God, do you not understand? Your tongue has power. Don't speak those things that are not your portion. My God, you stand up to depression and you say, even though I'm feeling this way, I do not have depression. Father God, reveal the truth to me. Lead me. Mm. And he said, I will guide you. I will lead you, my son, my daughter. He said, I love you. He said, great depression is not your portion. <laughs> he said, great depression is his portion. He's talking about the enemy. He said, it's their portion. He's talking about the wicked ones. He said, but not yours. He said, so count it all joy and get up. He said, this season will be great, I promise. And there's a reason for your season, my child. And he said, I love you. And he said, deeply. He said, don't forget that. He said, remember me. He said, I'm reminding you of me at this very moment. My God, he's speaking to someone. And you should see it, y'all. The ones that he's speaking to, the ones that are drowning in depression and these thoughts of suicide, God said, I'm speaking to you right now. My God. So he said, don't claim depression. He said, don't claim suicide. All because you don't understand. He said, many of you start to lean into your own thoughts because you don't understand instead of just asking me about it. And he said, I'm the one that will bring you understanding. Mm. <laughs> I did not know this was the next line, you guys. He said, ask me and I will bring understanding. Come on, Lord. We just said that. He said, seek me and I will give you relief. Then he said, I will give you rest, my child. How many of y'all have been so caught up in your thoughts about even with the wealth transfer, maybe you're confused, it's just so much going on. You know, you're maybe suffering right now. There's a lot going on in your life and God is saying because of, you don't understand what I'm doing. Because you don't understand that what I'm doing, I'm gonna bring you understanding, but you have to ask me you have to do your part. And I hear somebody crying out. I hear a woman saying, why Lord me? Just crying out. Why Lord me? He said, I hear you saying, you said just ask and I'm crying out to you. Why Lord me? You're crying and you're saying, I can see you in a place where it's a dark place and it's, 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 it's a heavy place where you've lost a lot. Mm. God says, tell her I'm coming. And you know who you are. God said, he's coming. He said, I heard your cry and I'm coming. He said, right now. Do my will and you will. You shall receive. 
a great portion of my wealth transfer. He said, do my will not, and you shall not receive a great portion of my wealth transfer. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, he says non-negotiable. Y'all, right now, word, do you understand? And so if you're watching me and you're you're in you're in a you know in a place of being in a sound mind, right? You thank God for that. Because you have a lot of people who are losing it right now in their mental. God told us last year, protect your mind because you're gonna see so much. And all I asked of you, if you are in a your if you do have your sound mind, right? If you do dwell in a secret place with our Father. I just ask for you to take a moment and pray for your brothers and sisters who are drowning in depression and suicide because it's such a serious matter where they can't see their way out. That's all I ask you to do. Take a moment and pray for them. And God will handle, he said, I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Y'all, we have such a good father. Good father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. All right, you guys. So that was a deep, heavy word because people are really going through certain life transitions right now. And if you don't understand God's plan, if you can't see him in the midst of it, it will drive you crazy. If you don't understand those thoughts are not yours, it will drive you crazy. And so this is why God wants you to understand. Just ask me for understanding because there is a reason for your season. He's talking to the children of God. There is a reason for your season. And he said, ask me for understanding and I'm coming because I heard your cry. So good, Lord, thank you. All right, you guys, so whew, part two, right? <sighs> getting deeper. All right, part three coming right up and you already know we love you. Bye.